What's up everyone? This is Flame Sword. This is going to be the first vlog of uh, our YouTube page, which is youtube.com forward slash MLG status quo. Uh, subscribe and you should be seeing a lot more of these type of videos coming out and uh, a lot of more things which you guys are, we're going to be asking you guys to help us out with ideas to come up with videos and stuff. Uh, first I want to thank MLG sponsors, Dr. Pepper, Dorito, Stride, Hot Pockets, Bic, uh, and Old Spice. I mean without you guys, you know, this league would still be small, but it's at where it is today because of you guys for being a part of it and just helping us grow. So thank you guys. Uh, the last blog I wrote up was my uh, my what I've been doing for the summer and up to rally and the first two event uh, yeah first three events I'd say and uh, so I'm gonna take off from there which would be DC for DC uh, we played a minimal online. And uh, we ended up not intending any of the LAN network lands, but uh, we got in contact with Walshi, who was on Carbon at the time, and uh, he said Red Bull was doing a three-team LAN, and they were covering everyone, so we decided to hop forward uh, with them and just head out to Cali, all paid by Red Bull, so thanks to them for doing that for us, and uh, just go out there and LAN and have uh, fun while we're out there in California. Uh, the LAN was weird. The first day... Um, we uh, we were playing our normal stuff like our normal style, but it just felt like it wasn't there anymore. It was it was just we were all felt iffy, so we decided to like try a new play style, which was how our personalities would act like during playing. Uh, we were just trying to have more fun as we were playing, and uh, it worked at the land for the last two days as we picked it up because we were just having a good time playing, and we weren't really worrying about if we were losing or winning. We were just focusing and having a good time and and the end result was that we were winning uh, every game really so uh... <clears throat> but leading into the event we went with the same mindset to have that play style and it just didn't work for us we lost the dynasty 3-1 immediately went down to placement lost the darkest hour 3-2 and then we uh... matched up with them again at the end after uh... And then brought it to an 11 game series, and we lost our last game. But I mean, the entire event just did, didn't feel right for us. We tried to do something new, which we shouldn't have. We should have just focused on how we usually play and just try to benefit it on it. It was mostly because there was just we didn't play that much on Xbox Live, and that was the huge reason of why we want we thought we had to change play styles. So that's where that came out of. Um, but moving on, uh, next is Dallas, which. We uh, attended a 16 LAN, of course, because at that time, uh, Halo 3 on Xbox Live was coming to an end. Uh, MLG just picked up Reach for the Combine and the Exhibition, so everyone who was playing Halo 3 moved on to Reach and tried to get a head start on all the pros and, you know, try to make their way and become pro for next year. Um, at the 16 LAN, just like at the Red Bull LAN, we started off slow once again. <clears throat> we I think we actually either won every series 7-4 and lost every series 7-4 which I mean in an end result is not bad because the way I look at everything is in the series you only have to win three games so if we're playing 11 game series and we're taking four games then I mean that that should be good enough for to keep your team in the uh, mindset in the game because in a real specified series you only have to win uh, three games so I mean if you can win four out of eleven so that means you're, you know, you're consistently playing good on four game types or whatever, or different game types. Then you should, you know, stay confident, and then you know that your team can do good. And it ended up working out for us because when the tournament came, we, uh, we three would believe the hype, and then uh, we played final ball three won them, and then we played instinct I believe and either three won them or three owed them, and then we replayed them again at the end and. Uh, it just worked out for us, you know. We were we were never mad that we were losing series seven four. We were always still confident, and, you know. We weren't upset with each other, and our team mostly never gets angry with each other. I mean, we'll say things from here and there in game, but I mean, if you ever seen our team, as soon as we're done and we get up out of our chairs and stop playing, it's like none of us ever got into an argument. We're just clowning around and we're being who we are, and our all, all our personalities match with each other, and we just have a great time outside of the game. Alright, so after the 16 land, you know, winning it, the little mini tournament was a huge thing for us. We That gave us a bigger confidence booster. 
going into the event. Uh, Dallas, I really want to talk about playing. And actually, I'll talk about everyone. Uh, Dynasty, I knew we were going to win no matter what because Clutch was on the team. And the way it's been going was the first event, Clutch beat us. Second event, we beat him. And he was on the same team. So DC, he was on Dynasty. They beat us. And then the next event, he was still on Dynasty. But we beat him. I knew we were going to win no matter what just because of the, the way the pattern was working. Um, next was Final Boss. Oh, wow, that was weird. Was a uh, Final Boss. Um, Final Boss, we made some mistakes, but I mean, they didn't, they had a three-peat, you know. They won three of the last events, and the Nationals on top of it, so I mean, hats off to them. You can't make a mistake against that type of team, or they will make you pay for it, and that's what happened to us. Uh, but besides that, Dallas was a huge mile mark for our team. I mean, we, uh, I don't think I've ever beaten Believe the Hype until that event. Uh... I've always lost to the team Believe the Hype, just the name Believe the Hype. I mean, when Cloud was in back in 08 in Meadowlands, I think that was pretty much their team name. And I think my record against them was like 5-0, and oh, I mean 0-5 oh or 0-6. Oh like, I just ha always lost to them, me and Aaron. It was insane. So being them was a first, you know, weight off my shoulders. And then uh, the next team we played would... Uh, be uh triggers down and this uh year event we've been going back and forth with triggers down we beat them in orlando we three owed them they beat us in rally when we were up 2-0 and they came back to 3-2 us and then <clears throat> you know this was the big event this is where you got to go hard you got to leave all your marbles on the table and just play your hearts out and uh we did and we ended up 3 2 them so that was that was great, and I never beaten my old teammate from Status Quo Tots, which is insane. He beat me the first event when he was on FB. He beat me in Raleigh when he was on TD. So I mean, this was my you know my last chance for Halo 3 to beat my old teammate, and we ended up playing our game, and we ended up coming on top, which was a great feeling. And then next was Instinct, another team that we haven't beaten that year, or I've never even beaten, and we were down 2-0. Oh, oh, uh, 0 oh, and 2, just like I was against Tots, and you know, we just we just got top three. We finally broke the curse, so we were going for more, and uh, we ended up 3-1 in Instinct, which was awesome. So that was another, you know, team we never beat, and there we beat them, and now we're still going for more. We're replaying FB, but as we all know, FB just they were dominant. You can't make a mistake against them, and hats off to them. I mean, three Pete in Halo 3, the only team to do it. Hats off to Ogre 2, winning net back-to-back -back nationals like that from each Halo title. That's a great feeling going out like that. And uh, now he's got a solid core of guys to play Reach for. So he's he's always been able to uh, maintain a great group of guys. And so good job to him. Uh, now that Halo 3 is over, which I do miss, even though I do enjoy Reach, I just feel that Halo 3 was much more of a <clears throat> better-looking game to me. And... It just allowed, you know, it, it was the start of basically my career. So I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna miss it no matter what, as much as people say they hate it or not hate it. So that's just my opinion on it. But going on to Reach, it's a new game. Like I said, I like it. Uh, I can't wait till the first event. Uh, status quo has been going hard at it on game battles. I think we're at like 32, 33 win streak. We're in third place. Uh, we're trying to play as much as possible because uh, in uh, during uh, October, I mean December, I'm going to be taking a couple vacation trips, so I'm going to be off for like 10 days, just hanging out in Orlando, and uh, we they want to they want to try to get my teammates want to get to first as quickly as possible before I leave and get as much you know off season practice before we start going back hard in it in the new year. So we've just been playing uh, game battles. It's been fun. Uh, I, from V1 to V2, we played game battles when they had V1, and uh, to tell you the truth, I liked V2 a lot more after playing them. The V1 just felt like I was still playing Halo 3, which I liked, but it was on a different game, and the way Reach looks makes it look like an arcade game, where I could have just bought it on the Xbox Live Arcade, with the, the way the graphics are built and everything. So, I mean, it didn't feel the same, even though it was still the same uh, play style as Halo 3. So... Uh, I think sprint is a necessity. Uh, I think it allows for individual performance to go above and beyond. You could do so many more things. You could 
do so many more team things with it. So I think uh, so far V2 settings are pretty uh, pretty good. Uh, besides the one flag, I don't think one flag should be really a game type. Uh, multi flags are much more competitive, and it's always better to watch in my opinion. Um, what else on reach? Uh, I like the bloom. The bloom allows for you know the individual uh, individual player to be better than the other player. You know what I mean? Uh, in Halo 3, everyone basically had the same shot. There were only a few people that who were able to consistently out BR somebody or win BR fights like Roy, Ola, APG, Tots, Enable, uh, Victory. Like there were only a few players that would constantly win uh, a better ratio than one to one in BR battles in Halo 3 so the bloom thing is going to be a great, it's going to allow players to shine it's going to allow for amateurs to come up out of nowhere and maybe get a shot next year on uh, already established pro teams they are looking to pick up people so yeah uh, I'm loving reach my team's loving reach uh, we feel like we're going to be very dominant in it uh, after taking second at Dallas, we feel like there was, you know, there's a spot in our stomach that's missing. You know, it's empty. We wanted to win, and we feel with the new game, uh, our play style works for it, and we feel like we're gonna surprise some people next year and be a lot more dominant than we were this year, and more, much more consistent. Even though last year we placed fourth three times in a row, seventh and then second, we're gonna be looking to stay in the top three, top two and just be consistent the entire year. Uh, besides Reach for the off season while we're still here, uh, I'm heading out to the, the Land Network house, the Panacchio's, uh great family to me. Uh, I feel like I'm part of their family, same from them. Every time I talk to them, I talk with uh, Mrs. and Mr. P every once in a while, you know, help them out, give them, shoot them some ideas for the Land Network, which is pretty cool. And uh, just even with uh, Ants, Tots, you know, he's like a little brother to me. We get mixed up as brothers, a lot of people say all the time, so it's pretty funny. Uh, and I'm just going to be out there, and then now that the new Instinct Squad is formed, I'm good friends with all those guys, so I'll be hanging out with uh, Tom, who's a T squared, and uh, Roy, who's J uh, Justin. So I'm just going to be hanging out with those guys for 10 days from the 6th through the 16th and just gaming reach and you know having a good time while we're out there so it should be fun uh... alright guys that's all I got for you today uh... I wanna uh, want you guys to uh... comment on me and you know let me know what I have to work on what ideas you think we should uh... make for uh... our youtube page like what type of videos you guys are interested in seeing what type of information you want us to put in videos that we uh... <coughs> we release and stuff so just give me your ideas you know comment rate help us get better at what we're trying to do and then it just works out better for you guys as we integrate with each other right guys All right so I'm flame sword again and uh great talking to you guys later Hook a nigga chat. Uh, Honey's for the town.